Wow, she got rejected by Elvis. I mean, what are you supposed to do when even Elvis turns you down? Wait, I'm just having memories. Ah, thank you for resubbing, Amnaf. I'm just having uh, memories of this cartoon that used to play whenever I came home from school. About this baby that got left at a gas garage or a diner in a guitar case. And he thinks that his dad's Elvis and he does adventures and things. I don't know why that just came back, but it did. I don't know if anyone knows the name, but... Yeah, what are the weird little memories that just flash to you when you see something? It's crazy like that. And unfortunately, we're not doing Subfest this year. Um, I didn't apply for it, so... I got my uh, little reward from Subfest last year was a little pin. <laughs> what made me sad last year was we had 100 subs, but everyone resubbed before Subfest, so we only ended up having like 5 subs during Subfest, and I'm just like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Little explanation, part of the clothes making Elvis's shop involves infusing cloth with the artisan's mana. When Megumi tried that, the cloth exploded. Ooh. So that's what's going on. Because she was like, I did exactly what you told me to do. You're probably going to have to miss out on this stream and watch it later. All good flame. See you around, buddy. And hello, Natsu. Hello. Alright, let's continue. The raisin... How do I even read that? Deter of an explosive neat. Chikira's place didn't work out either. Oh my god, this alphabet is just so... Eh. <laughs> if you need any help other than financial. Oof! Emotional damage! I need to get that, like, sound recording so I can just press the button. Yeah, you're just unemployed. Oh, thank you for resubbing, Big Boss. Oh no, you're subbing for the first time. Thank you, Kansa. Oh, she used to always get it from her friend, Union. Wait, is she just going to hold the town hostage by blowing up a part of the forest every day until they pay for her ticket? I see. Yeah, everyone knows after she casts the explosion, she can't actually move.
She's working in a bakery? Or is this a rum? No, it's a, it's a store. Wait, Union's working too? I thought she was rich. Or did Union secretly start a restaurant just to employ her? Oh, that's sweet. Oh my god, the bears! The bears are just ridiculous. Oh my god, this is so bad. It's like this little tiny face, but the body's just this giant thing. Like, seriously, what the hell? <laughs> You're getting taken out by potatoes. You're gonna rob her, aren't you? The Irish of this world must be buff as F. There must be. The Irish with their potatoes, and the Russians with their potato salad vodka juice. I screwed that one up. I was gonna say potato juice. Oh yeah, she has to carry her back. Is that true? She's probably just making it up. Can you just teleport her? Wait, this guy can do teleports. Why doesn't he just teleport people around town? He would make a fortune. Alright, he used all of his teleportation on... Peeping on girls in the library. Well, I mean, technically it is a mad exploder. It's just not the one you were looking for. I swear, Megumin is a sociopath. I swear there must be a tier of explosion magic that she can use that doesn't completely exhaust her energy. But she's like, nope, biggest explosion. So Union is basically walking home on the other side of town. Ah, That's a JoJo reference. She's gonna get brain damage. I swear that little cat is like a demon general or something. Oh, what the hell?
You can't exactly pretend that you're not. There are multiple tiers, like blasting magic, but she only likes the majesty of explosion, the largest spell possible. Megumin has problems. Is this a Final Fantasy character? Looks like one. No! <laughs> the cat's just like, I'm chilling here. Eh? So she's confusing her with the girl from the first episode. Megumin is the type to play along. This is just gonna end horribly. Where? <laughs> Love it. You know what? While I'm here, let me just grab a quick screenshot. Might come in handy. It's usually very difficult to get a better screenshot than this. So we might as well grab it while we can. I don't have to go back for it later. Uh... The little cat. I love how convenient that is. I just so happen to have the amount that you need. Wow! Megu, man, you should never accept the first offer. Told you, Megaman, sociopath. Lies! You don't feel anything. Oh, tell me about it. Look at the tanuki in the background to be like. Wasn't that the name of the girl in the OVA movie? The one with the boobs and penis?
That's Sylvia you're thinking of? Oh. What about the money? Is it because she didn't bring money? Didn't the dad sell her this? This is going to be awkward. I'm sorry, but this is so bad. <laughs> the item is cursed. NOT THE HOUSE! <laughs> what? Hell! So about the money? Hmm?
That cat is just like riding in style. Oh. And don't open up any more demon portal grave seal tombs again. No. No. That's so sweet. What's that seal? She's coming too, isn't she? Oh, wait, that's the... Wait, is she obsessed with her brother? Or is the big sister? No, wait. Her brother's obsessed with a girl. I thought that big girl that does the crystal ball was her sister. Anyway, my brain misinterpreted that. Sorry, what? All oh, right, I see what's happening. Is this a Kenpachi reference? Aww.
Okay, so the next episode she's going to be out of the Crimson Demon Village. I thought Union might actually come along. And that the talk with her parents was about whether or not she could actually leave the village. But I must be wrong. Because we see Union run up to Megumin a bunch of times. So we know she leaves the village. The question is just when. Because I just assumed Union lived close to that villager starting area place. But she's in the village. So she just doesn't have a home that's nearby. Oh wow, that's so sad. First note, uh, when Union first hears about the cash amount, Megumi doesn't tell her what the transaction was for. And she fears, once again in the light novel, that Megumi has chosen to sell her body. Not a joke. Union accuses her of the act of multiple times out of fear. You know, like, back in... Or, I mean, back in the day in Japan, you could actually do that. Like, old guys would pay a bunch of money for a young girl's first time. You know, university students from overseas here in Australia were actually doing that. Like, selling it. It was just f messed up. <laughs> and now it's gone from, like, selling to one person to selling little bits of yourself digitally to many people. How we have changed as a society. It's nuts. How's my day? My day is good. I'm watching anime. How's yours? Second note. The farewell party was actually at Union's house. Her first ever party she hosts. During the farewell, the duo who tried to scam Union asked Megumi to bring back some handsome studs. This would have happened the day before the teleport. Oh. Lol. But then again, I get the feeling that the men in this village are a little bit... Crude. So I can't exactly blame them. But then going by their conversation of their dream Prince Charming, I think they might have to adjust their um, expectations. Just saying. Ah. <sighs> All right, quick little break and we're going to watch the next episode. Hacha needs to get a video from her computer, which she's been exporting. Third note, also during the farewell party, when the gifts are given, Union was actually the one who gave Megumin her outfit, robe, and hat in the light novel. She did this as she was still wearing her school uniform until that point. And after everything that they went through in the thriving six months, it was in tatters. Oh, okay. Right, so that's how she gets the hat. Because you guys were mentioning she shouldn't have the hat at this point. But it was like, meh. I was more curious about the staff. And then I saw it in that scene. I'm like, oh, they're going to give her the staff. That's cool. It's nice. Final note, before she left her house, Komeko actually made her a packed meal. Aww. Aww. So cute. So cute. The little sister's like the cutest thing ever. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even stay mad at her for opening a demon tomb with like a destroyer demon that will probably kill everybody. Like how can you stay mad at her? She's so adorable. Have I ever watched Fire Force? Nope. And trying to eat ch Chomusuke. I know, I know. I know. I know. But she's adorable, so she gets away with a lot of shit. Alright, quick little break, and then we're watching the next episode. So adorable! I can't even. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I could have sworn that was the gender-swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun-sized, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow- <laughs> You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good. In fact, I think your new size makes you an even more formidable and stealthy ninja. 